my name is Nitij and this is the first video tutorial of my YouTube channel the topic of this video is how we can return multiple values from a C-sharp method so normally whenever we create a method then it returns a single value but there are so many situations when we have to return more than one values from a single method in this video I am going to explain four different ways in which we can do that the first one is by using the out keyword with the arguments the second one is by using structures third one is by using classes and the fourth one is by using the ref keyword so over here we have a console application and in the code there is a method which is to divide a number by another number so in the method divide number one is going to be divided by number two and then the result is going to be returned to the place from where it is being called now in the main method there is a field which is quotient and the value of quotient is being set by calling the divide method by sending in the arguments seven and two so obviously the quotient will be having the result of this divide operation and then we are just writing the value of the quotient on the console with a message now when we see at the arguments then it is obvious that 7 is not going to be completely divided by 2 and there will be a remainder so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the out keyword to modify this method to return a remainder along with the quotient value to do that all we have to do is first we need to add a third argument and before the type of the argument we need to write the out keyword and then the type and then the name of the keyword now the value of any out keyword needs to be set before we return from the method so as you can see I have used the the percent or the modulus operator to get the remainder now what will happen is in the main method we need another field to hold the value of remainder and let's just initialize it with a zero and then when we are calling the divide method then we need to again write the out keyword to tell the compiler that this is an argument which will be passed as an out argument and then we, we need to type the name of the of the field which we are passing as an out argument now when the divide method is completely executed then it will return the quotient value and it will set the value of remainder inside the method body but we will be able to access the value of remainder outside of the method body so if I just go ahead and modify the message along with the value that we are writing on the console then the quotient is quotient and the remainder is remainder so now as you can see we are using the out keyword to return two values from the divide method so this is the first way in which we can return more than one values from a method the second way is the use of structures now structures and classes are basically containers which encapsulate different information altogether so to use this structure first we need to create a structure using the struct keyword and let's name this structure as divide struct now inside, inside this structure I'm just going to add two, 
fields or two members and I'm going to name them quotient and remainder Now let's have another copy of this method and let's just name it divide which returns struct and we can remove this out keyword from the arguments for the remainder. Now what we need to do is instead of returning an integer we need to return the divide struct type of object and inside the method body we need to create an object out of the structure definition and then we can individually set the value of public fields of the structure and then finally we can return the structure object and that's it now in the main method we again need to have a field or an object sorry not a field actually an object which we need to create out of the divided structure and we are going to get the value of this object by calling this method and let's just pass the same arguments and then over here we can directly put the names of the public fields of this structure and that's it Now when I'm running this code then you can see that the message is saying the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. So in this way we can use a structure to return a bunch of values from a method by encapsulating them in a, in a structure and then creating an object out of it and then returning the object. Now let's move on to classes. So classes are used in the same way like we just use this structure so I'm just going to copy this entire code and instead of a struct we need to write the class keyword and we also need to rename this entire entity now let's create another copy of this method and we need to rename it we need to rename the type which it is going to return along with the name of the method and that's it everything is going to work in the same way as it was working for the structure and in the main method let's create an object out of the divide class and then instead of using the structure object we can simply use the class object to print the values on the console and that's it alright now let's move on to the fourth 
fourth method which is the use of ref keyword now when we are calling these methods then we are sending in the arguments as a value so I'm just going to comment out this entire thing and let's have some alright we already have quotient and remainder alright let's just write them again so we have a quotient and a remainder with us and let's have some initial values for them now to use the ref keyword we need to create a method which is going to accept the ref arguments or the arguments which need to be passed as a reference instead of a value so I'm going to rename the the name of the method as divide ref and we need to put the ref keyword before the arguments and actually no I'm not doing this right alright actually we need to have the ref arguments the separate ref arguments for the quotient and the remainder alright so over here we just need to set the values of the ref argument and then we can replace the in 32 with a void and then in the main method what we simply need to do is we need to first send in the arguments for the numbers for number one and number two and then we need to pass in the quotient and the remainder as ref arguments or, or as a reference arguments so what will happen is when this method will be called then when the values of these arguments is set inside the method body then this change is going to be reflected back to the place from where this method is called because we are basically sending in the address of the fields so the method is going to use th that address to alter the values inside the memory now if we want to see what are the values which have been set from the method we can simply replace the properties with these fields and that's it the result is same the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1 okay so I'm going to tell you one more way to return more than one values from a C sharp method and alright so for this method to work we need to have a method similar to this one actually I'm just going to copy this one this entire thing over here and then I'm going to remove this out keyword so I'm simply going to send in a divide class object along with the arguments and then this method is not going to return anything now I'm just going to set the properties of the divide class from the method body So what will happen is when I'm setting the values of the properties of this divide class then this divide class is going to retain the values and we can access these values from the place from where we are calling this method. 
and to see how this code is working okay you know what we can simply reuse the declaration above and actually it's an overload so we can safely use this method so first we need to create a new object out of this divide class and then when the time comes to call the method then we can simply send in this divide class object as an argument and then what will happen is this divide class is going to retain the values of the quotient and remainder that we have set inside the method body of this method actually we also need to comment out this one because we are not using it but alright let's see if it's working or not so it seems to be working so we are not returning the object out of this method we are simply sending in the object as an argument but the point to note here is that if this object is overwritten with a new value then we will not get the value which we have set from the method body but if we are setting the value of its properties or its members then we then we will get the values and we can safely assume that the properties are going to retain their values so these are the different ways in which we can return multiple values from a C sharp method and if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments section so that's it thank you everyone